Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're excited to be here to review a mattress called the Hero Bed. Now there's several reasons why we're excited to be showing you this mattress. Number one, this is a brand new company. They only launched this in the last uh, week or so. So this is uh, really a first look at this mattress. Uh, number two, the mattress itself is a very novel construction, particularly uh, in, the, in the bed in the box kind of online mattress space. So that'll be interesting to show you. Uh, and the third reason is that this is a company that was started by a couple of guys, brothers, who have been in the mattress industry for a long time. And we actually know, and they're, they're good guys. And uh, they also have an interesting story behind this company where they're really trying to use this company as a platform to celebrate kind of the everyday heroes in our lives. And so they've got a kind of an interesting uh, social mission that's tied to that. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in this video as well. So thanks for joining us. One of the first things we like to describe when we're looking at a new mattress is the comfort level, meaning just how soft or firm is it. And in this case, this is a mattress that like a lot of online mattresses comes in just one comfort level. And we would say this is close to being what we would describe as sort of a straight up medium, but it's just a little bit softer than that. So we would characterize this one as a medium soft. So now let's dive into the specifics of what's actually in the Hero Bed mattress. And what's interesting about Hero Bed is that it's billed as a hybrid mattress. And in fact, one of the founders of Hero Bed is actually one of the pioneers of the use of the term hybrid. In fact, he's one of the principal reasons why you see the term hybrid used so prevalently in the mattress industry today. Um, but what's interesting is that the conventional use of the term hybrid in the mattress industry describes a mattress that is, uses sort of premium foams like latex or memory foam over pocketed coils for support. So you're getting pressure relief from the premium foams and support from the coil unit. And in this case, the use of the term hybrid does refer to a combination of premium foams and coils. However, the, they are both in this top layer, this top half of the mattress, uh, where the principal support is coming from foam here not from pocketed coils. So that's kind of what's interesting. It's a different take on the term hybrid that in fact this person particularly even pioneered. So, um, so I guess he, he gets the full latitude to <laughs> redefine the term. Um, but in this case, um, we're gonna describe the mattress here. We've, we've uh, pulled back the cover so you can actually see the layers. And there are five layers as you can see here. The top layer is a um, a memory foam with both gel and graphite, um, which are both basically conductors, um, as well as phase change material. So just to describe that a little bit, that's like three special goodies uh, packed into this memory foam, all with the intent to keep this memory foam from, from overheating. So fully loaded memory foam, consider it that, um, with a three and a half pound density. So then below that, you have the first layer of coils which is about an inch tall, and they call these comfort coils. So these are, we might call these micro coils, some people might even call these nano coils, because they're quite small. They're only, you know, not much bigger than the size of a quarter in sort of diameter, um, and only an inch tall, and they're quite soft. Um, so uh, these are really, just, these are providing comfort to the mattress. Um, and in fact, there's a ton of these things. There's uh, over 2,000 in a queen size version. So that gives you a sense of how many it takes to cover the surface of a queen size mattress, um, just for one row of, uh, one layer of these. Um, and below that, you have a, a tiny half inch layer of sort of a, they call it a transition foam, but really it's just sort of a layer to separate the two layers of coils here. Um, and then uh, that's, a, that's just a poly foam. And then you have below this, you have what they call posture fill coils, which are intended to have a little bit more of a support benefit, um, but they're also pretty soft. Um, so these, these ones up on top are a 19 gauge, softer the number, the higher, uh, sorry, the higher the number, the softer the gauge. These are a 16 gauge, which is still softer than pretty much any uh, support coils, if they were like full support coils would be in a mattress. Um, and uh, these are an inch and a half tall. Um, so they probably are providing some contouring to your, in terms of uh, support, like 
reaching up into curves in your lumbar or your, or your, your waist, um, but uh, they're not the same um, firmness as a traditional support coil would be. Um, so that's an inch and a half of, of, for that. And then below that, you have the real support of the mattress, which is coming from this six inch block of 1.8 pound density uh, polyurethane foam. And I should just also mention that these coils here, these support coils, are bigger in diameter. They're, they're something closer to that. Um, and so there's only uh, 900 or so. I shouldn't say only because that's still a lot. Um, but there's fewer number of them relative to the, to the smaller coils on top. Um, and uh, so that's pretty much the makeup of the mattress. And this is, a, this is really a unique construction. You don't see this a lot where two layers of micro coils, um, micro coils over foam. In general, there's just a lot of things in here that are unique. And then the memory foam on top of all that really does add like yet another interesting wrinkle to this. Um, so all of that, um, we're gonna get to more detail in this video as to like what that really means to you as a sleeper. I mean, how does that manifest in terms of the overall properties of the mattress? So now we're gonna dive into the two things that absolutely everybody must get from their mattress, which are back support and pressure relief. And we're gonna start this off, I'm gonna just lay down on my back on the mattress just to show you, because this is the position that I personally spend the majority of the night in. And for context sake, uh, I'm about six feet tall and not quite 200 pounds. And what I can say is that in this position, I'm pretty well supported here. I could definitely feel that the mattress is doing a great job reaching up into this lumbar area of my back and supporting that area. Uh, at the same time, my hips are allowed to sink into the mattress, which is important to maintaining that, that neutral curvature of your spine in this position. Um, where I have some concerns, I think that overall, any back sleepers who are my size, or especially ones who are lighter than me, I think would be well supported in this position. Um, where I have some concerns would be for back sleepers who are significantly heavier than me, um, you might find that your hips sink into the mattress more than you'd like, which could feel like you're not quite uh, as supported as you wanna be in this position. Likewise, for stomach sleepers, this is the position where you most need to be careful about not letting your hips sink too far into the mattress because that can cause overarching of your back in the stomach position, which is certainly a, a, not a good thing. So that's why we generally recommend that stomach sleepers stick with mattresses that are a medium softness level or firmer. Um, and in this case, that's, this mattress falls a little bit towards the softer side. Um, but what I do think is that if you're on the light side of, as a side sleeper, so if you're someone who's in the maybe 100 to 150 pound range and you're a stomach sleeper, I do think you'd probably be okay on this because it's, it's pretty close to medium. Um, I just, but if you're heavier or if you're my size or if you're heavier, I think if you're a stomach sleeper, you're probably gonna want a mattress that's a little bit more firm, a little bit less cushioning depth to make sure that your hips don't sink too far into the mattress. Um, turning to my side, um, in this position, this is where you start to have to consider not only back support and spinal alignment, but also pressure relief, because this is the position where your body's weight is distributed over the smallest surface area. So if there are pressure points, you're most likely to feel them in your shoulders or your hips. So for me on this mattress, I find the pressure relief to be good. I'm, I'm not experiencing pressure points, and I feel confident that anyone lighter than me is not likely to have pressure relief issues on this mattress in this position. Um, where I do have some concerns about pressure relief is for those of you who are significantly heavier than me, because I do feel that um, my shoulders are uh, penetrating through the memory foam, that, that very soft top layer of memory foam, through that soft layer of comfort coils, and I'm certainly well into that next layer of posture fill support coils. Um, and I think that if you're significantly heavier than me, where you're likely to end up is through that layer as well um, and onto the base support foam layer, which is a pretty firm support layer um, and probably not the most pressure relieving um, surface. So, I worry that if you're significantly heavier than me and a side sleeper that you could run into some pressure relief issues. 
As far as back support goes in a side position, um, this is definitely a positive of this mattress where I think most side sleepers are gonna be pretty well served from a spinal alignment standpoint on this mattress. Um, one of the things that's hard to find in a lot of these sort of medium, one, one comfort level fits all mattresses that you find online is it's hard to find ones that allow a side sleeper's shoulders to sink far enough into the mattress that your spine is in that horizontal position, that neutral position. It, and in this case, my shoulders are allowed to sink in. I do find that my spine is properly lined in this side position. I think that would be true for someone heavier than me as well as someone uh, lighter than me. And so that's definitely a, a nice positive for, for side sleepers. So now let's talk about responsiveness, which is the first of the preference related characteristics that we cover in each review. And what we mean by this is to what extent does it have that slow responding memory feel versus that quick responding bounce. And there's a spectrum there and it's purely based on your personal preference uh, where, you, where you go on that spectrum. And there's no better or worse. So what's interesting about this mattress is that it has both uh, foam uh, and even memory foam, as well as coils, and there's a lot of them, th over 3,000 coils, as we talked about in a queen size version. Um, and so those two things tend to have different um, characteristics when it comes to responsiveness. So I need to just show you how this nets out uh, uh, on the, that basis. Um, we generally think about responsiveness in a few different ways. We think about it at the surface level. That's one thing. We apply just a little bit of pressure with our, our hands to the top inch or two of the mattress. Um, and in this case, you know, we're just hitting that memory foam layer principally, um, which doesn't have any bounce really. My fingers are penetrating to that first layer of microcoils. There is a little bit of bounce, but not a, not a ton of bounce here overall um, in the surface. Um, the next thing we can test is sort of that the next level of bounce, which we test with this 16 pound bowling ball. And I'll just drop that. And there you really see not a lot of bounce. I mean, there's not no bounce, but, um, but there's certainly, uh, there's not a lot more bounce than we would see in a mattress, many of the mattresses that we've tested that have no springs at all. Um, and likewise, if I were to do now the test of our deep bounce, where I just plop my whole body's weight down on the mattress, what you could see is, there's not a lot of deep bounce either, certainly nowhere near what you'd expect from a mattress that had coils in the support layer. So overall, on balance, there's not a lot of bounce in this mattress, particularly for a mattress that has so many coils. Um, and where you feel the bounce in, a, in the most pronounced fashion is really mostly on the surface. If you were to penetrate beyond that memory foam uh, top layer into that, those, those two layers of microcoils, that's where you'd feel the bounce. So now switching to the memory side of, this, of the equation here, uh, because there is memory foam in this mattress, uh, let's just try to give you a sense of to what extent there is a memory feel. And as you can see here, when I press down on the mattress and pull back, you do see that memory foam, that top inch and a half, taking a second or two to fully recover. Everything under that pretty much pops right back. Um, but, but that top layer does have a little bit of that memory feel. That being said, it's only an inch and a half and it's um, really not the slowest responding memory foam. In fact, as memory foams go, it's probably a little bit on the faster responding side. So net, on balance, I wouldn't say that this mattress has a whole lot of that memory feel either, but I probably would put this somewhere a little bit towards that side of the spectrum only because it doesn't really have that much bounce um, except on the surface where it also has some memory feel. And because the memory feel is on top uh, of the bounce, it's probably just a little bit more pronounced in the mattress than the bounce is. So this basically falls right near the middle of the sort of responsiveness spectrum, but we put it just slightly towards the memory side of the spectrum. Another preference-based characteristic that we always cover in our reviews is cushioning depth. Because some people prefer to sleep more in their mattress and others prefer the feeling of more floating on top of their mattress. And as you can see here from this 16 pound bowling ball, if you compare this to a lot of the other reviews we've done, this mattress has 
slightly deeper than average cushioning depth. It's not nearly as deep as like a fluffy pillow top or one of those really deep memory foam mattresses, but it is a little bit deeper than average. And of course, your experience is gonna vary uh, in terms of how much you sink based on your weight, your body shape, even your sleep position. But I can illustrate it too with just my body on this mattress where you can see just a little bit more uh, of that feeling of kind of being hugged or cradled by your mattress. Um, it's still pretty close to the middle, but you're just getting a little bit more of that feeling um, and a little bit more of that conforming. Um, and that's of course due to the memory foam as well as the 3000 coils, which are gonna do a lot of conforming, especially that's one of the benefits of having really small coils is that the smaller the coils and the more of them there are, the more closely they're gonna conform to your body and give you, so that's, that's kind of what you're experiencing in the way of cushioning depth on this mattress. The next thing we're gonna talk about is motion isolation, which you may know is how well does the mattress prevent you from being disturbed on one side of the mattress by motion on the other side. And so we're gonna use this bowling ball again to, uh, to just illustrate this. I'm gonna drop it on the bed here. And you may notice that the bowling pin's a little closer, you know, not where the other sleeper would normally be on a king size mattress, but that's because we want it to be fair insofar as Many of our reviews are done on queen size mattresses. So, um, but what you can see here is that even with the bowling pin where it is, there's just no movement really to speak of. Um, I'm gonna just now test it where I, I come down and jump on the bed carelessly uh, without a thought to whether I disturb my partner. And nonetheless, the bowling pin did not move at all. So uh, overall, this mattress has excellent motion isolation. Another concern for some people is the ease of repositioning on the mattress, particularly when the mattress has memory foam and slightly deeper than average cushioning the way this one does. So what we wanted to just show you is that we don't expect ease of repositioning is going to be a problem for you on this mattress. I would say that because of those two factors, it is not maybe as easy to reposition on this mattress as some mattresses, but you're definitely not getting any of that stuck in a hole feeling that you may think of when you think of memory foam mattresses. And that's because of all those coils in here, which are gonna spring right back up every time you move and kind of ease your ability to reposition to however you'd like. Another important consideration for some people is temperature or sleeping hot. And that can be a particular concern when the mattress contains memory foam, as this one does. Um, so what they've done here in the Hero Bed is they've, in my opinion, taken great lengths to make sure that this is not gonna be a mattress that causes you temperature issues the way that some other memory foam mattresses might. Um, and they've done several things on that regard. Number, um, number one, they've added three components to the memory foam itself that are designed to pull heat away from your body. Uh, they've added gel beads, they've added graphite, and they've added a phase change material. Now, both gel beads and graphite are conductors, so that means heat can travel through them. And in this case, that means the heat is traveling away from your body, right? Your body being the heat source. Uh, phase change material, what it does is it's, it's like microscopic beads of wax that heat up as the heat you know, is applied to them. And as the, the wax inside the bead melts, it effectively transfers the energy away from the outside of you know, the external heat source and into the bead itself, which creates what you sense as a coolness to the touch. Um, now, going back to the conductors and that heat that's traveling away from the, your body, uh, this, the next thing that they did is they created airflow in this mattress by having this row of coils directly beneath the memory foam. In fact, it's two rows of coils. So as the heat travels away from your body through this layer of memory foam, it reaches these two layers of coils, which as you know, are principally air. So the heat goes through there, it reaches this layer of very airy coils uh, in the middle of the mattress and is able to then travel out of the mattress, thereby creating an airflow that is designed to prevent overheating. So, Overall, we don't expect that this is a mattress that's likely to give you issues as it relates to sleeping hot. Another characteristic that can be important for some people is edge support. 
So we always look at this in our reviews. And as you can see here, this is a mattress that like really any other uh, foam core mattress, it doesn't have any particular features designed to maintain a strong edge. So there definitely is a, a, a substantial amount of dip as I sit on this edge. Um, but what we can say is that relative to that same group of um, kind of foam core mattresses, when I lay on the mattress, what you can see is that I'm actually able to lie here and not feel the sensation of being sort of slowly tossed out of the bed. Um, the memory foam, as it takes effect, it, you know, I'm, I may be leaning slightly, but uh, I'm still stable here. So relative to some of the other peers, it, I would definitely say this has better edge support. However, if edge support is a critical consideration for you, then I would say that there are certainly other types of mattresses that tend to just excel more in this area. Another consideration for some mattress shoppers is the degree to which the mattress contains natural materials, or maybe more so just the lack of harmful chemicals. And in this regard, what we can say is that the Hero Bed is not a natural mattress. It's not one that contains natural materials per se. Uh, that being said, as it relates to chemicals, you can take some reassurance from the fact that all of the foams in this mattress are certified to the Certa Pure standard which in effect is a standard that looks for the presence of harmful chemicals as well as off-gassing and certifies that they do not exceed some minimally acceptable threshold. So if that is a concern for you, then this is a reassurance that you can take with regards to this mattress. Another factor that's gonna be important when buying a mattress online is return policy because you're not gonna be able to try the Hero Bed before you buy it. So like many of its other online peers, HeroBed offers a very generous return policy. They will give you 100 nights to try this mattress and if for whatever reason you don't like it, you can get a full refund. So you're basically out of pocket nothing to try this mattress for 100 nights. And where I think HeroBed uh, goes a little bit above and beyond, particularly for an upstart, a brand new company as they are, is they'll actually come pick it up from you if you do want to return it. And uh, so that eases the burden and takes it off of your shoulders from having to get the mattress to some place that where it could be either recycled or donated. So overall, we think you can take a lot of extra confidence in your purchase knowing that you have this return policy to fall back on if you need it. Another consideration for just about every mattress shopper is value. And when we think about value, we always think about how much does it cost, what's in it, and how long do we think it's going to last? In terms of the price of the Hero Bed, it's currently $10.99 for a queen size. And in terms of what you're getting for that, we showed you the insides before, and as you'll recall, this is a mattress that has about four inches of what we'd consider to be premium comfort and pressure relief materials. Specifically, that one and a half inches of 3.5 pound uh, memory foam, and the two and a half inches of 3,000 uh, microcoils split between two layers. Um, and the rest of the mattress is a 1.8 pound uh, polyurethane foam, which is principally located in this support base. Uh, in terms of how long we think that's going to last, um, what we would say there is that the two, two and a half inches of microcoils, my expectation would be that that is likely to last longer than two and a half inches of foam that might otherwise be in a mattress like this. Um, so we would definitely consider that to be a positive for this mattress. In fact, if I have any concerns about this mattress longevity wise, it would probably be with the top one and a half inches of memory foam in that uh, the 3.5 pounds density uh, while on par with the biggest online brands is a little bit lower than some of the other mattresses we've reviewed. So in terms of how this compares, relative to in-store brands, it's a little hard to compare this mattress since most brands that are sold in stores that contain springs use them in the support layer, which is a little bit of a different beast. Um, relative to the biggest online brands, uh, there's a couple things going for this mattress. Number one is what we talked about, how the microcoils 
we would expect to have pretty good longevity characteristics relative to foam. Uh, and the second thing would be that the memory foam that they use in this mattress contains not only gel, which is pretty widely found, but also graphite and also phase change materials. So they've really gone a little bit above and beyond in the temperature realm. Um, so while the cost is a little bit more than the biggest online brands, we would say that overall the value of this mattress is on par with those biggest online brands. So just to summarize some of the things we've covered in this video, the Hero Bed is a 10 and a half inch mattress with a medium soft feel and a very unique construction, which combines memory foam on top with micro coils underneath that and a foam core for support. And we talked about how if you are a stomach sleeper who is my size or heavier, uh, this might not be the right mattress from a back support standpoint. You might want something with a little less softness. And we talked about how if you're a side sleeper who's significantly heavier than me, you might find that this mattress is not the best fit from a pressure relief standpoint. Uh, but if you're someone who likes a little bit more softness than average, who likes to sink into the mattress and feel hugged by the mattress a little bit more than on a typical mattress, and who likes a little bit of that memory feel, but not so much that the mattress has no bounce whatsoever, and if you value excellent motion isolation, you can get all of those things in this mattress without any of that feeling of being sort of stuck in the mattress, which oftentimes comes hand in hand with those other characteristics. And so we think that that's a really kind of unique positioning, really unique um, characteristic set that the Hero Bed offers that it's, that's really kind of hard to find in other mattresses. So if those things feel like a good match for you and you liked the other uh, characteristics that we described in this video, then we definitely think that the Hero Bed is one that you should consider. So we hope you found this video helpful in deciding whether the Hero Bed is the right mattress for you. But if you're still not sure, we would recommend you go to goodbed.com and take our mattress match quiz, which you can find right up in the header of any page of our website. This quiz will walk you through all of the same criteria and considerations that we covered in this video, and ultimately will show you matches, both online and in your local stores, that best fit your personal needs and preferences. And once you've taken the quiz, you can even navigate to other pages, product pages on goodbed.com, such as the one for the Hero Bed, and see your personal match score for that product. So we definitely think that's a resource that you should take advantage of. So that's it. We thank you for watching and we hope you sleep well. Mm -hmm.